The moment the world learned that Prince Harry, who is fifth in line to the British throne, and Meghan Markle, one of the stars of Suits, were dating, the actress was met with a slew of support and also criticism. After the pair announced their engagement in November 2017, Markle immediately faced more hate and negativity than ever before. Here are some famous folks who simply can't stand her. Wendy Williams Talk show host Wendy Williams is clearly not a fan of Meghan Markle. In December 2017, the brash, outspoken host told her audience that she thinks Markle is a bit of a wild card, you know, because she goes from being the deal or no deal girl, so this is a girl looking for game. A few months later, in February 2018, the topic of Markle came up again while Williams was interviewing 90210 star Anna Lynn McCord. After asking the actress about Markle's small cameo on the 90210 reboot, she couldn't resist throwing more shade. She applied for a job here, too, so Does we she? feel like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there you go. See? A random princess. It seems that Williams' dislike runs deep. Back in November 2016, when it was first revealed that Markle was dating Prince Harry, the host predicted a breakup, saying, There's way too much drama with her, and this will not work out. It's not her. It's gonna be the family. The family's gonna mess it up. Williams doesn't just focus her royal jealousy on Markle, however. By the way, Kate, what is going on with your fried ends? She looks like she has about 20 packs of weave in her head, doesn't she? Stay classy. Piers Morgan British TV personality Piers Morgan is known for making headlines, and he did just that when he accused Markle of ghosting him. According to his side of the story, which he shared during a February 2018 episode of ITV's Loose Women, he was actually friends with Markle before she ever met her royal beau. The two met via Twitter and admitted they were fans of each other. Some email exchanges apparently followed and the pair eventually met at Wimbledon. Morgan says the two of them had a drink and were, quote, great buddies for about 90 minutes. Unfortunately, the friendship was short-lived. Thing, I know. Silence. Nothing. Off the radar. Fast forward to March 2018 and Morgan was talking about Markle yet again, this time on Good Morning Britain, as he criticized the couple's choice to have an organic lemon and elderflower cake on their big day instead of following royal tradition with a fruitcake, saying, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are creating scandal and sensation by going their own way. To me, when you get married, you don't muck around. You stick to tradition and have a fruitcake. Katie Hopkins no one has been quite as scathing in their commentary of Meghan Markle as British media personality Katie Hopkins. In November 2016, the reality TV star turned male online reporter penned an entire article in which she unapologetically went after the young actress, calling Prince Harry's then-girlfriend, shy and retiring, Instagram-addicted Meghan. Dubbing her an American Kate Middleton, she quipped, Given she used to work as a freelance calligrapher, which basically means she can write with a pen, her fortunes have taken off faster than British astronauts Tim Peake on his way to the International Space Station. She then went on to rip apart the prince's official request for the media to respect Markle's privacy, writing, If you don't want Miss Sparkle trolled on social media, advise her to stay away from posting pictures of bananas spooning on her Instagram account. If Megan, a woman who acts and does PR for a living, doesn't understand that, then dare I suggest maybe she isn't suitable girlfriend material, let alone a potential bride. The cattiness sure hasn't cooled off over the years, as in February 2018, Hopkins took to Twitter to call her a budget princess die with an Oscar-winning innocent face. Chrissy Swan she may not be a household name in North America, but Australian TV personality and author Chrissy Swan has been one of Markle's harshest critics. Taking to Facebook to express her disapproval of the bride-to-be, Swan confessed, For some reason, I still haven't warmed to her. It's her manner. She looks like she's performing. To me, she looks like she's portraying a concocted humility. Acting. Her ex-husband. A book from royal biographer Andrew Morton, who penned Princess Diana's biography in 1992, is making waves with allegations that Meghan Markle was ruthless when it came to ending her first marriage to Hollywood producer Trevor Engelson. In Meghan, a Hollywood princess, Morton writes that, Trevor went from cherishing Meghan to, as one friend observed, feeling like he was a piece of something stuck to the bottom of her shoe. It was in 2013 and the couple had been married for two years when, all of a sudden, Markle, who was living in Toronto at the time filming Suits, sent her wedding and engagement rings back to Trevor by registered post, allegedly out of the blue. According to the author, Engelson can, quote, barely contain his anger, even after all these years. And although he has yet to speak out publicly on the matter, he's producing a brand new comedy show for Fox that sounds familiar. The description reads, Divorce is hard. Sharing custody is harder. Sharing custody with the British royal family when your wife marries a prince in the unforgiving spotlight of London's tabloid media is next level.
Sounds like Engelson is prepared to air a whole lot of dirty laundry. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.